Hey friends, welcome back to the blog. It's finally time for the first full length post of season two. If you're new around here and you're not entirely sure what I'm talking about when I say full length post and season two, make sure to check out the season trailer for more information. I'll link it down in the description box below, up in the cards of the video, and in the actual written blog post. I'm Samantha, and as most of you know, I'm a pretty avid traveler, specifically a pretty avid road trip traveler. I've been on all kinds of road trips all across the United States. I guess you could say that makes me a bit of an expert. So today I'm here to share with you all of my expertise in the form of road trip essentials. These are my must have items to capitalize on your comfort and your convenience while you're on a road trip. So you have an upcoming road trip planned. You figured out your entire itinerary. You have everything budgeted for the trip. You've even already packed up your suitcase. And ideally you've done all of these things with help from my planning and budgeting and packing series, but I digress. Anyway, you're getting ready to hit the road, but not something you can't get cozy in. That's my number one road trip essential. Comfortable clothes. You don't wanna be stuck in the car for hours on end in something that you can't sit in, something that you're constantly having to readjust, something you can't be relaxed wearing. Think loose clothes and comfortable shoes. I recommend something like loungewear or athleisure. Big shirts, stretched leggings, really anything you can get comfortable in with limited mobility. Now, depending on how long you're traveling for, something else you might want to keep in mind is sustenance. I'm talking about water and snacks. It's so important to stay hydrated while you're traveling, which is why I always bring a reusable water bottle with me whenever I'm going on a road trip. As you can see, I've gotten a lot of use out of mine. I think in part because it's so well designed. The, the flip top opening makes it really easy to drink water while I'm on the go. Clearly the Stanley brand water bottles are worth all the hype. Keeping your hunger away with some light snacks is also an important part of traveling and road tripping. I like to keep mine easily accessible in the front seat or within reach in the back seat whenever I'm driving. It doesn't have to be big or elaborate. I just have a couple of goldfish, some bananas, and a few cliff bars to tide me over. Now that we're comfortable, hydrated, and fed, let's talk about entertainment and navigation. This screen gives me access to maps, music, and phone. Not a feature I use very often, if at all, but I do use the music feature quite frequently. All I have to do is click the button and I have my entire Spotify library at my fingertips. This includes songs, podcasts, and more. Lately, I've been listening to the Taylor Swift Eras Tour set list, which means there may be a trip slash video slash blog post coming your way in the near future. So stay tuned for more information on that. I can also access my maps from this screen which allows me to see my destination and routes and even scroll around to change my view. And of course, I couldn't do any of this without a phone charger. A simple accessory addition that's worth having for road trips and all kinds of car travel. For whatever kind of travel, having a phone charger on hand is never a bad idea. Now, over my years of road trip travel, there are a few small items that I've added to my road trip essentials that have made some pretty big impacts. Sunglasses, for example, are small and don't take up a lot of space. They're useful for accessorizing your outfits, but on a road trip especially, 
They're useful for keeping lights and glares from harming your eyes while on the drive. Sun shades are another worthwhile investment. They come in handy for keeping your car cool when you need to leave it for extended periods of time. They're not only easy to set up and keep up, but they're also easy to tear down and put away. They come with these folds and straps that keep them contained when you're not using them. And while we're talking about the front windshield sunshade, let me show you these side window sunshades I have as well. They have magnets all along the hem that attach to the magnetic part of your car on the edge of the windows. They keep your car even cooler and are just as easy to set up and tear down. There's a chance that you're watching this YouTube video or reading this blog post and thinking, nothing new, I've been on road trips before, I know what to do, but I can almost guarantee you that the last few items on my list are some that you've never thought to bring along with you on a road trip adventure. Like loose change. Any kind of loose money is nice to have in emergency situations, like at tolls or at vending machines. Coins and cash are emergency items. You never know if and when you're going to need them, but they sure do come in handy if and when you do. Speaking of things that you never know might come in handy, trash bags. You'd be surprised with how much trash you can accumulate from a single road trip. From random receipts to discarded fast food trash, having a place to put all of your trash keeps your car clean and not cluttered. You can use a more stable car trash can or a kitchen trash bag like the one I have here. The goal is to keep your trash from getting scattered around your car by having a place to put it. Okay, one more road trip essential to round out the list. And this one is for all the passenger princesses and princes out there. Okay, this may be less of an essential and more of a comfort, but whenever I get to be the passenger on a road trip, I like to bring a blanket I can cozy up with. This is my favorite blanket. It covers my legs and most of my body, plus it's made of the softest material. Passengers have to look out for their comfort too. And those are all my road trip essentials, brought to you by a road trip expert. Make sure to click the link that I've included or head on over to my website to see and read the full blog post for more information. It's got a lot of stuff that I couldn't include in this video, including summaries for each of my road trip essentials, just in case you happen to miss one. And if you're looking for more travel tips, make sure to subscribe to this channel and to the blog and follow me on social media for even more travel content. Thanks for watching, reading, and following along. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, friends.